Welcome to this episode of Photo Theology. I'm your host, Doug, and today what we're going to be looking at is the Pentex K5 versus the Canon 5D Mark II. They're going to be going head to head in a noise control contest. The noise ranges will be 3200 to 12,800. Now, I'm not going to worry about doing, you know, the 50, the 100, the 200, 1600, simply because most people who shoot with digital SLRs are willing to shoot within those ranges. However, I find many photographers choose not to go above a 1600. And myself personally, I have no problem shooting with a ISO of 6400 with my K20D if I need to. Also, for a lot of people who have been looking at the K5, this is a chance for them to really be able to match it up against, you know, a camera that is very, very popular. I know that we've seen a lot of the K5 versus the Nikon D7000. I will eventually do that, but I think at this point in time, that's been a little overplayed, so I'm going to take it from a different angle. So we're going high-end AS sensor versus full frame sensor, Canon versus Pentex with ranges of 3200 to 12,800 ISO. Program being used will be Corel, PaintShop Pro 3X or X3, sorry about that. Uh, lens that will be used will be the Sigma 70mm lens 2.8 macro and the site I'm getting the pictures from will be from Digital Camera. Oh, I'm sorry, not Digital Camera, but uh, <laughs> Digital Imaging Resource. That's going to be the site, Digital Imaging Resource. I'll be taking their raw file sizes. Now, the reason why I go with these guys is because these guys are highly consistent. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay. So on the left you have the Canon 5D Mark II, on the right you have the Pentex K5. Uh, the program that I use to actually uh, create the JPEG images, because these were raw images, um, was Corel PaintShop Pro 3. The reason why I use Corel is because Corel does not use any real noise control, meaning that the noise that you see here is exactly what the camera would be giving out normally anyways you will notice that the images are the same size. The reason for this is because I have about four cameras that I'm making this comparison to. The first set is what you're looking at right here against the K5, um, which is the, the Canon 5D Mark II. And um, the lowest camera, which is the Nikon S700, has a 12 megapixel, so everything is cropped to 12 megapixel. Uh, the advantage here is everything is going to look good um, from a comparison end. So as you guys see, when you're looking at the stuff, the stuff looks pretty fair on. Now, you will notice that the um, images are a little different between the Pentex and the uh, Canon. The reason for it is because the Pentex has a crop. So things on the Pentex will look a little bit bigger due to the crop of the sensor. Um, this is why it is an ASP sensor, not a full frame sensor. The Canon uses a um, full frame 35 millimeter sensor, or what's equivalent to 35 millimeter sensor, and uh, that's why its image will look fairly a little smaller, even though the, the uh, megapixel cropping is the same. This deals with how the uh, lens takes in the image, its process, so on and so forth. There is no lens multiplier, in short. Um, the multiplier for the Pentex is about a 1.5, 1.6. I'd honestly have to go back and check. I've never really cared to check. Um, but I know Canon's is 1.6. So anyways, there we go. Uh, as you'll notice, most the, the noise control here is pretty, is pretty good between both models of the 3200 ISO. Um, it is more relevant though on the Canon. You can definitely see more noise, especially in darker um, areas. That is due to the fact that the Pentex does use a, a um, back illustrated sensor 
basically what it means is the Pentax has exposure compensation, so it's a little bit better on its lighting than the um, than the uh, Canon is. In fact, what I had to do is I actually had to lower the exposure of the Pentax images uh, to a 1.6 negative because Corel couldn't read it because it's a brand new encodec. So uh, what I had said at the end of the 3200 um, you know, uh, testing was the fact I had to lower um, the exposure in the Corel program to a negative 1.6 uh, the reason for this is because the Corel cannot properly read the exposure. Expo sorry, exposure. <laughs> sorry, there. So it was blowing stuff out. Um, here, though, we're at a 6400 ISO, and the noise is definitely more relevant here. Uh, you can definitely tell where the back illustrated sensor, the Pentex, really starts to take form, and um, the noise is not nearly as apparent as it is in the Canon when you're talking about the more harsher shadows and stuff like that. Um, however, I do think when it comes to, you know, the color, the purity of white and stuff like that, the Canon does have an edge over the Pentex, and um, depending on how you like your color schemes, like your reds and stuff like that, you may prefer the Canon, you may prefer the Pentex. I personally prefer the Pentex's red, uh, but that's my own personal preference there. I think it's a more accurate red uh, than what the Canon's is. Um, so, that's how that looks. Uh, however, on the bottle... Uh, of like the little elf or the little gnome or whatever it is right there. I'm definitely going to give it to the Canon on that. I think it's shading is much better there. However, um, once again, if you look at the noise, the noise kind of blends in with the Pentex where you, in terms of the shadowing and stuff like that, in darker colors, where with the Canon, it's just, it comes right at you. It's more, it's much more harsh um, than with the Pentex's, uh, um, noises. And this isn't to say that the Canon is necessarily bad, it's just in comparison, you are talking about a full frame sensor with the uh, Canon versus the ASP sensor, which is on the Pentex. Now, part of the reason why the Pentex is doing a lot better on its exposure and on its noise control against the Canon is due to the fact that the Pentex is using brand new technology. So, you know, the argument's been made many, many times over. Um, full frame ASP, <clears throat> which one's better? And in this case, I mean, you can judge for yourself. I, If it were me looking at it just from a noise standpoint so far, the 6400, I'm definitely going to go with the Pentex. Um, however, don't forget that the Canon 5D Mark II is going to have greater crop capability and stuff like that. Um, I'm not denying any of that, but here in this test we are looking at noise control. And here with the cup it really shows once again how the Canon noise says simply comes right at you. Now remember, this is without any noise reduction whatsoever. This is just straight noise from the RAW. And here we are now looking at a 12,000 uh, ISO. And I know 12,000 is not the correct number, but we're just going to call it 12,000 for the sake of it. Um, 12,800. There you go. Just to please some of you guys. Uh, here you see the noise, and it looks semi-unbearable to an extent. Uh, now, remember, this is with no noise reduction. That's why I use Corel, because when it comes to ISO and noise reduction, Corel is definitely not the best. Now this isn't to say that Corel is a bad program to use, it's just that it means that Corel in this situation is an excellent program to actually use to actually show what true noise looks like on both sensors. And these images are raw images that are simply just converted to JPEG. Now Corel is a program that basically anybody can afford, it only runs about 100 bucks. Corel Paint Shop Pro. And uh, it might be 2, 3x, whatever you're going to get. But anyways, um, Corel is a pretty fair program to use to show the true noise of something. Now, it's not to say you can't use programs like ImageNeat to clean up noise and stuff like that. But you can definitely see uh, right there with the bottles once again. And even with the color palette, the little miniature color palette, that the Canon just, unfortunately... You know, the, the stronger full-frame colors also 
in the case of the Canon are also projecting a lot of stronger noise as well. Um, now, with that being said, the thing to keep in mind is that you do have other programs that can definitely reduce noise, such as, I want to say, uh, Adobe CS5, um, which we'll be looking at. We'll be doing a test with that later on um, in, in the month. But um, as it stands now, I mean, I'm definitely going to say that, uh, and, and when you look at the ground, uh, the, the flooring, for what all the objects are being being placed on, hands down, you know, whether we're talking exposure or noise control, the Canon is beaten by the Pentex K5. So there you go. For the first time in DSLR history, an ASP sensor has beaten out a full frame sensor when it comes to noise control. Or let's put it this way, it's the first time I can remember it. And I've been doing this for quite a while. So, with that being said, um, if you guys want to sit up here and post your comments on this, go right ahead. Um, I hope for some of you who have been looking at the K5, you're happy now. Well, there you have it. I would say, hands down, if we're looking at ISO ranges between 3200 to 12,800, the Pentex K5 beats the Canon 5D Mark II in an ISO noise test going head to head with each other. Um, program, once again, being used was Corel, PaintShop Pro X3. And remember, I did have to lower the exposure on the Pentex to match the Canon's exposure because Corel doesn't have the ability at this point in time to accurately read the exposure of the back illustrated sensor used in the Pentex, which some of you may find that as a turnoff. Um, if you're expecting just to be able to hit, you know, auto, you know, fix and everything be okay, it's probably not going to happen with uh, Corel, with the Pentex. Remember, lens being used was the Sigma 70 millimeter macro lens 2.8 and the image that you guys saw was taken um, from the website digital imaging resource so there you go um, just real quick note sometimes you know the technology is able to beat out the class and this is one of those cases where that's very true it's not to say that the K5 is a replacement for the 5D Mark II. That's not what I'm trying to show here. I'm merely showing a comparison in ISO noise. So for those of you who have been thinking about the 5D Mark II, well, here's something as far as food for thought goes. And now you can ask yourself, well, what are the real reasons for what you're buying it? If ISO is one of them, well, then you might have to redirect yourself. For those of you who have been looking at a Pentex K5, if you were concerned about ISO being something of an issue, well, I think you can be rest assured that it's not like you're going to just automatically surpass its ISO performance by just pur purchasing, I'm sorry, purchasing a full frame DSLR. So with that, I'll let you guys chew on that. And if you guys want to email me, you can go right ahead. What I'll do is list my email at the end of the episode. You guys take care. Until next time, bye-bye.